I gotta record. Extreme wind warning. Unrecognized warning. At 10.53 p.m. Central Daylight Time, National Weather Service Garbo Radar indicated extreme winds associated with the eyewall of Hurricane Laura were moving onshore along the line extending from 15 miles south of Serene Pass to 6 miles southwest of Creole to 7 miles south of Freshwater City, moving north at 25 miles per hour. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. Locations impacted include Beaumont, Lake Charles, Port Arthur, Sulphur, Orange, Nederland, Groves, Port Natchez, Lumberton, and Vidor. Take cover now. Treat Thank these you. imminent extreme winds as if a tornado was approaching and move immediately to the safe room in your shelter. Take action now to protect your life. Oops. The safest place to be during a major landfalling hurricane is in a reinforced interior room away from windows. Get under a table or other piece of sturdy furniture. Use mattresses, blankets, or pillows to cover your head and body. Remain in place through the passage of these life-threatening conditions. The flood warning. We're getting on and off wind gusts. Uh, we might want to get to shelter. Uh, okay, I might have to start recording. We, we need to get to shelter. Um, our, we, we are not under an extreme wind warning yet. Southwest of us, we are. Wait, what is this? What is this? Oh, that's Abbeville. Do y'all hear that? <laughs> Crap. Tornado warning. Uh, Acadia. Central Daylight Time. 
Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Lancaster, Hathaway, Midland, Roanoke, and Thurwood. This includes Interstate 10 in Louisiana between mile markers 44 and 88. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Heavy rainfall may hide this tornado. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. Tornadoes are extremely difficult to see and confirm at night. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. This is the NOAA Weather Radio KHP 42 in Lake Charles, the voice of the National Weather Service. At 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time, the center of Hurricane Laura was located near latitude 29. Point What's going on? Ah! Flash flood warning. Service in Lake Charles has issued a flash flood warning for southwestern Evangeline Parish in central Louisiana. Flash flood warning. Parish in south central Louisiana. West central St. Martin Parish in south central Louisiana. Northwestern St. Mary Parish in south central Louisiana. Acadia Parish in southwestern Louisiana. Southeastern LN Parish in southwestern Louisiana. Northeastern Jefferson Davis Parish in southwestern Louisiana. Northeastern Vermilion Parish in southwestern Louisiana. Until 2.45 a.m. Central Daylight Time. At 11.38 p.m. Central Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the warned area. Between 2 and 3 inches of rain have fallen. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, flash flooding caused by thunderstorms. Source, Doppler radar. Impact, flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Lafayette, New Iberia, Crowley, Abbeville, Eunice, Jennings, Scott, Rain, Franklin, Karen Crow, St. Martinville, Jean Red, Kaplan, Church Point, Welsh, Kinder, Bazile, Iota, Gaydon, and Elton. Additional rainfall amounts of 3 to 5 inches are possible in the warned area. Be especially cautious at night when it is harder to recognize the dangers of flooding. warning remains in effect. The flood warning continues for the West Fork of the Calcasieu River at San Houston Jones State Park until Monday morning. Latest estimated... IEM bot didn't even issue it. Flood stage is 5.0 feet. There it is. is <sighs> Y'all, this isn't a crappy camera. It's just like I haven't figured this thing out yet. As you know, I use a cell phone normally, but this isn't one of those days to use a cell phone. Alright, so right now, a uh, buoy reports a hurricane, 89 mile per hour wind gust reported off Calcasieu. I think my parents are moving the mattress right now. Uh oh. Starting to wind up. Also, a significant surge will occur up the lower natures, Sabine, Calcasieu, Mermontal, and Vermilion River basins. I don't know where Mermontal is. It's that all night long. I'm telling you right now. I'm not listening to that thing all night long. Tornado warning. Tornado warning for Northwestern Lafayette Parish in South Central Louisiana. Jefferson Davis Parish in Southwestern Louisiana. Southwestern Evangeline Parish in Central Louisiana. Southeastern Southwestern Louisiana. Acadia Parish in Southwestern Louisiana. North Central Vermilion Parish in Southwestern Louisiana. Southwestern Saint Lambert Parish in Central Louisiana. Southern 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Does that mean we're out of the blue as far as whatever kind of strong surge we may get? I can't say that yet. We're just going to have to wait and see. But I will tell you where the surge is really bad. This is what happens when you go on a plane. As you climb up into the atmosphere on a plane, you get lower air pressure. And that's what causes your, air, your ears to pop. You will likely experience that because this is a strong enough hurricane. The air pressure is low enough. The other thing, I think you remember this, Cynthia. No. You may end up hearing... Those of you that I told you to go to the bathroom, you may end up hearing your sink gurgling yes. or the toilet may flush on its own. Please don't be freaked out. There's not something in there doing that. It's the wind. The reason why, this is a very simple yeah, fit. An hour. Every house wow. with plumbing, you have a pipe that goes up through the roof and it's the ventilation. It's what causes the... Uh, I'm in the work for scene right now in the Calgary uh, River. They are doing a Facebook live feed on the KSWL Lake Charles CBS affiliate. Um, they're KSWL DT2 ABC and, uh, or no, KBHP2 and KBHP K KPLC. They are all off the air. We don't know why. But we are getting an unknown feed coming from the CBS affiliate in Lake Charles. As of 12 12 a.m. August 27th, 2020. I don't think we have. My radio would be going off by now. Okay. Oh. Yes, can you hear me? Alright, we got Barrett back. Barrett, what are we looking at right now? Well, right now we're looking at, uh, at 150 mile per hour sustained wind speeds whenever it comes to uh, Hurricane Laura here. And we'll go ahead and go to the graphic there. So that right there is updated. Not hardly any change with it since about 10, 11 o'clock. Still the pressure is holding the same at about 938. Right I now. swear to God, I'm hearing the EAS tones, Mama. 50 miles an hour. The north northwest at 15 miles an hour. The thing that has changed though is that the heading has changed from 340 degrees to 345 degrees. So making more and more of a straight northly turn there. And a straight north direction is 360 degrees, by the way. So this is 345 out of 360. And um, so you see that eye wall has come on to shore. And we're just going to go ahead and uh, just go ahead and say that it's made landfall now. And um, you can see that path or that track there continues to bring it up across our western parishes. Still a Category 2 hurricane there forecast area, but that just shows you that this storm has a ton of energy and with the pace it's moving at, while it's going to lessen the flooding, winds are going to cause damage and power outages from uh, most of Louisiana and then up through Arkansas, East Texas, and, and uh, even beyond that, uh, a little bit into western Tennessee, southern Missouri, things like that. So a remarkable storm that we're really just kind of getting started with around here, and then after this, Barrett